Hey everyone, it's Marie. We are back. We are here with, we're now Gem City Collectibles. Uh, we have rebranded officially, and that is just to kind of better align with where we would like to take things in the future and kind of some of the expansion we'd like to do. I'd like to get into um, some more tabletop gaming and a fantasy Warhammer stuff too. Um, we recently came into an old collection from someone, so be on the lookout for that video if that's what you're into. Um, and yeah, we will have some fun with that. But for today, we are opening a Doctor Who Commander deck, Masters of Evil. We have the other decks being opened on the channel as well. You can give those videos a watch. And thank you so much for watching. Welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. And if this is your first time, welcome. Please be sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. All right. We will get into this collector sample pack here. We did not invest in any of the collector boxes for Doctor Who this time around. Uh, just to get in at a good price point um, to make it worth it for us. All right, the Master Gallifrey's End and Quantum Misalignment. Check out these Plains Chase cards. I do not really know anything about Doctor Who, so this crossover didn't really mean a lot to me. I know a lot of people are very excited about it and I'm seeing some good feedback online. However, I from what I'm seeing online, people opening some of their collector packs feel like the surge foils are way too easy to come by. Um, I haven't seen too many serialized cards getting pulled and bragged about online, um, but it's definitely happening. Um, but it's kind of disappointing how many surge foils I'm seeing, I think. Um, but people seem to like it. People like this like this deck, uh, or like this set. Here is our deck box. Leave us a comment below, let us know what you think. If you play with this deck at all and you have manipulated it, changed it, let us know how and why. And let's jump right into the deck. Our commander, Davros Dalek Creator. May not be saying that right. Again, sorry, I do not know Doctor Who. But let us know what you think. Do you like these Universe Beyond crossovers? Or are you kind of sick of them? Are you ready for Wizards to just stick stick to making their own cards and producing it, putting those out? I am really looking forward to the Lost Caverns of Ixalan release coming up in November. I'm hoping that'll do well. And we're hoping to invest pretty heavily into that one. All right. Alien Scientist and Menace. At the beginning of your end step, create a 3-3 Black Dalek Artifact Creature Token with Menace if an opponent lost three or more life this turn. Then each opponent who lost three or more life this turn faces a villainous choice. You draw a card or that player discards a card. All right. And here is... Our commander again. Sorry if you can hear that in the background. Sounds like we have some sort of truck or something backing into our driveway and you can hear them pulling in. Again, if you use this deck, if you took the commander and kind of made your own deck from it, let us know. Um, we want to hear how people are kind of manipulating these decks, what you think of this set. Weeping Angel, I like this card. Flash and First Strike and Vigilance. Whenever an opponent casts a creature spell, Weeping Angel isn't a creature until end of turn. If Weeping Angel would deal combat damage to a creature, prevent that damage, and that creature's owner shuffles it into their library. I like to run Angel decks, so I, I definitely like that card. move 
this stack out of the way, stay organized. I like the Universe Beyond crossovers. Um, I'm looking forward to the Fallout Commander decks coming out, uh, I guess, in 2024. I'm a big Fallout fan, um, so I think that'll be a really cool crossover. I know I've seen mixed feelings about it online. Some people are just sick of it, and others seem to really enjoy it. I am surprised that some of these cards aren't holding a better value. I thought that they would, but that just seems to be the way things are going for Magic right now. Um, lots of people just upset with some of the decisions that Wizards has made and some of the price points of sealed product and they just don't want to give in and support it right now. I totally understand. Um, I can say we have seen a decent decline in our sale of Magic singles on our eBay store. Um, hasn't stopped, but it's definitely slowed down. Um, definitely more people trying to make offers versus being okay with just buying the cards outright. Um, and that's just the way it goes. If you sell cards or sealed product for that matter, uh, leave us a comment. Let us know kind of what you're seeing, how what your experience is. Um, it's interesting right now. Do like the artwork in this set. I think it looks nice. I think the cards look nice, I should say. I think they always do a pretty good job with the artwork, I think. I've never really there's not very many magic cards that I look at and think to myself, well that just doesn't look good. All right, that will wrap it up for this opening. Again, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day.